This is uh, Medusa, and it's, uh, believe it or not, our 10th collaboration with Lepe 1839, so our 10th clock. And that, to me, is always a surprise. We started the first collaboration, the first piece with Lepe, four and a half years ago, and in just four and a half years, we now have 10 clocks together. Medusa, because it's obviously, as you may have guessed, conceived, designed like a jellyfish. And this piece is actually a bit of an exception because within the MBNF universe, usually the ideas come from our creative director, the founder of the company, Max Busser. This piece is actually the idea of someone else, uh, an independent designer called Fabrice Gonnet. Fabrice saw our Aquapod wristwatch a few years ago, which was also designed a bit like a jellyfish. And he thought, hmm, this could be cool. This could also become a clock. So he spontaneously proposed the idea to Max. They're friends, they've known each other for a while, but never had a really a chance to work together. He showed them a few sketches, and we thought the idea was great. We took it from there and, and continued the collaboration. As always, with these collaborations, the ideas, the concepts come from us, and Fabrice Gonnet in this case, but the engineering and the manufacturing is 100% done by Lippi, 1839. In this case, we also have a special third partner, if you like, and that is for the glass. The glass is Murano glass from Venice, from Italy, worldwide center of excellence for this type of, type of glass, and it was one of the major challenges in the project. Why? Because the glass is not just a decorative element, it's actually part of the clock structure. The glass supports the actual movement, as you can see here, so it needs to be strong enough to do that, so thick enough, at the same time not too thick because otherwise the thing becomes incredibly heavy and by the way the visibility on the hours and the minutes is not guaranteed and it also has to respect a certain aesthetic which was of course the aesthetic of the clock. Now that may seem simple but when you talk artistic Murano glass blown by hand, blown by mouth, that's actually a bit of a challenge. To make things worse Guess what happened at the end of November, beginning of December, just a few weeks before SIHH? Venice was flooded. The workshop Lepe had selected to make these glasses was flooded, and they had to stop all work for several weeks. Fortunately, they managed to deliver just enough for SIHH. How does the clock work? Well, you check the time on these two revolving rings, of course, hours on top, minutes below. Very simple mechanism to set and wind the watch. A single crown down here below, you turn one way, you set the time, as you can see here. I turn the other way, I actually wind the clock. So very simple, one point of entry right here. Three different uh, versions, blue glass, green glass, and pink glass. Each one is limited to 50 pieces. And another cool aspect of this clock is it actually has two configurations. It's either a desktop, as you can see here, clock, so it stands on these feet, or you remove it from the feet, as you can see here, and hang it with a cable from the ceiling. And in that case, you have an extra set of tentacles, glass blown as well, which you set up under the jellyfish to really make it look like a jellyfish floating in the water, or in this case, floating in the air. So there you go, that's our collaboration with uh, Lepe. Uh, as I said, a magnificent partner uh, at Lepe, uh, 10 clocks together. I'd like to mention also that uh, Lepe has really changed over the four and a half years we, we've been working together. When we met them, they had a beautiful production, of course, but very classic uh, table clocks. Ever since we started working together on these somewhat more contemporary collaborations, they have shifted really their production entirely today the majority, more than 50% of their production and their sales is the collaborations we've done together.